Is this a stranger or an acquaintance? The decision is made within the fraction of a second and quite subconsciously. Hello. Hello. A group of scientists in Tübingen are trying to unlock the secret of how we recognize Is faces. The researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics collect face images using laser scanners and cameras. They already have more than 200 facial images in their database. Swiss researcher Isabella Bultoff says that for her, faces are like rooms that can be explored. Using a computer, they can be manipulated in many ways by merging them with other faces. A face can be made more masculine or more feminine, or you can change the dimension which determines identity and mix this face with other identities. But how exactly do people recognize a familiar face? This experiment might be able to provide an answer. Mm -hmm. This woman has to pick out a colleague from a group of faces that look the same at first sight, but which vary in their width or their expression. I'd say it's number three. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Many people look alike, but we don't want to mix them up. So we've trained ourselves to look carefully and note the facial features exactly so that we can say, that's Christian or not. It's his brother or his half-brother. This test contains unfamiliar faces. A second, slightly different picture of the man on the large photograph is hidden somewhere among the photos of the other people. Although the faces are not very similar, it proves quite difficult to find the right one. I'd say it's number nine. That's what I thought when I did the test, but it's number three. We know how faces in general look, but we don't recognize a face as well as one we've seen many times. But in everyday life, we rarely have to recognize rigid images, but living people with moving faces. <laughs> the scientists in Tübingen are also studying the role of facial expression in recognition. This is person B. Take a good look at it again. This is person B. Here's the question. What is this? Okay. Which person is this one here? Identification becomes difficult when the shape of one face is mixed with the expressions of another one. This time the test person hesitates between A and B. The facial expression plays a role. If you have a characteristic smile, for example, that will be used to recognize you. The Tübingen scientists hope to use their results for practical purposes. They're developing an artificial face with as authentic an expression as possible. It has a number of potential applications. In the future, our database and the data we're acquiring here may help us to create a virtual counterpart of ourselves, a kind of mirror image. It could help patients who have had a stroke to retrain their facial muscles by following the correct example of the mirror image. A virtual mirror image as training partner. The Tübingen team hopes to have its first prototype ready a year from now.